People in St Paul's have said that they want to see change in Dalrymple Park. The residents are pretty sick of the drug and alcohol related behaviour that goes on in there and keeps them awake at night. Bristol City Council are about to take out the play equipment because it's 30 years old and there isn't enough money to replace it and residents want change. We've been in Dalrymple Park for three days trying out different activities with young people. It's been great to see the effect that um, positive activity can have on the space and we're hoping that through this the residents can come together and we can find a solution. It might not be about housing or the park but it's definitely going to be something to do with changing how people see this street and hoping that this will deter people from using it as a place to take drugs in the future. I think of Dalrymple Park. Um, it's pretty boring, but after we've um, fixed it up, it's going to look nice. I like the park, it's very fun because I like it and there's a swing. I like this Dalrymple Park because it's fun and I like the swing and I'm so beautiful. Hi, my name is Katie. This park is boring because it only has a swing, a climbing thing and seats. My name is Malakai. I think that Dairampa Park is a bit boring because there's not much things you can play with. I think that this park is a junkie park because every day when I walk home from Spicy, people doing stuff in here and I think that there are some good purposes about this park because we're trying to transform it to make a better place for everyone. Yeah, Dalrymple Park, I started working on it I think back in say 2012, 13 and that was through St Paul's Unlimited and the council had said that they couldn't afford to keep the park going. So what we decided to do was try and find out from the people in the area, mainly Barnabas Street and Dalrymple, what they thought about that park. And from the work that we did then, 50% of the people said they wanted it to stay as a children's play park. 50% of the people said they wanted it to become something else. The ones that said they wanted it to become something else wanted that because of the activities that were going on in that park. They didn't think it was safe for children to use that park and also they had an issue with the bins being put outside of that park as well. So what we've tried to do since then, or what we've tried to do back then, was investigate getting children's play equipment into that park and encouraging children to use that park as it was originally designed. And then hopefully the antisocial behaviour or undesirable behaviour, whatever you want to call it, would stop. I personally would like it to stay at the children's park because that's what it was designed for originally. Well, after the house that used to be there was bombed out in the war. And that's what I think it should stay at. It's sad that the council aren't prepared to put the money towards that park. I can understand that the money's tight from government and that. However, it is a children's play park. It can be reached safely from quite a few streets without children having to cross the main road, which I think is important, or even without children having to cross the road if it's within the sort of four streets around it. And so what we want to try and do now is get funding in from external places, whether that be, you know, the lottery or say Tesco's, places like that, because they all have funding parts. Put some children's play equipment in that park and liven it up for the children. Up until that point, or until we get to that point, which we might get to, may or may not get to, we just want to have a few events in that park. Barbecue, film night, just generally hanging out and the kids getting in there and just drawing people's focus to that park so they can be made aware of it and they can be reminded of it. And that's what you want to do with Dalrymple Park, is essentially get as much interest into the park as possible and hopefully get it back to being a decent park and that's hopefully what, what will happen. Hi, my name's Sauda and I live next door to the park on Dalrymple Road. I've been living there for nearly 30 years now and it's a shame that my children were able to play but these two, my grandchildren, are not able to go in the park because um, I feel that it's not safe, it's not clean, that it's, there's been no investment in the park and it's just a waste of space really which um, you know it could be a good selling point for the community if we have this park refurbished.
What do you think, Jashai? Um, I think the council should take out everything and make it into maybe a go-karting track or or basketball court. Yeah, and I don't let you come out here, do I? Because it's not safe, yeah. is it? He doesn't. She doesn't let me come out because it's not safe, and I am re I am very curious and always pick stuff up. Exactly, we found needles in the park. You know, there's always rubbish dumped around, and since the recycling has been put outside, I agree with recycling, but it needs more cleaning on a daily basis. We've had rats. You know, it's just uh, people just walk past with their children, and it's just quite sad, really, in this day and age. What do you think, Shardy? Yeah. Yeah? You like to play in the park? Yeah. But you're not allowed, are you? Yeah. No. Hi, my name's Matt. I'm a community organiser in St Paul's and over the last uh, couple of months I've been knocking on doors all throughout St Paul's and although for Acorn housing is a massive issue, um, there's a problem in that you can have loads of houses but if there's no places for people to play, if there's no safe places for kids to play, if there's not places where people don't have to cross busy traffic roads that are dangerous in order to play, then what's the point in building houses? Community needs spaces for families and kids to be able to enjoy themselves. Not everyone has a garden in St Paul's and we really need this space for young people to be able to play together and be safe. Hi, I'm, my name's Judith Davis. I'm lucky to be a resident of St Paul's and this is one of my local parks and I want it to stay um, for a trillion million reasons but on my way here I've spoken to three residents and they just said look it's got to be check the archives. Um, this mural has been changed and there was a, a gentleman on it before called George and he was on everything and he had a bullet in his heart um, you know, so she was saying for those reasons that we should keep it. I've been told about, you know, it's in between two main roads, okay? Um, it's getting busier and busier. We're going to have a bus lane just down the road here. Enough is enough. The gifts and the essences of St Paul's are being taken away. And young people have a right to have a safe space to be um, without harm. I mean, look at the rubbish that's around here. Do you know what I mean? The bins, the nasty, sorry, those nasty bins, they've got to go. Um, it's by a park, for goodness sake. Do you know what I mean? The most ugliest looking things on this planet, all the rubbish by it. It's not acceptable. Young people deserve. We need to be going by our charter for play. We need to be following all the documents about every child matters. You know, we talk the rhetoric, but what do we actually do? This is their backyard. Don't take away what is their their backyard. It's their back garden. It's just a communal one. That's it. And that's how you learn to have friends. The Arimpa Road play area. I think they should keep it, not for housing, just fix it up. Keep it for a, a place for young kids to play, young children. Maybe put some, um, obviously, new equipment. Possibly some of that um, gym equipment. So that parents can come and work out where the you know where the young children play and that. Keep it, man. Keep it. Just fix it up. Sort it out. Okay, my view is use it or lose it. I understand there's a lot of antisocial behaviour which obviously puts people off, and a lot of parents do not want their children to play here. But it is a green space. It is a space that we have in the community. There's been various ideas like an adult gym or some equipment where people can work out. Me myself, I have come down here before and danced, which has been quite nice. Um, but again, it's also the solutions to move people on, the antisocial behaviour. And I think people now need to come together, use it or lose it, because at the same time, we're all under pressure. The council is under pressure to find more resources so we can fund essential services. So decisions have to be made equally. There are many families out there who also need housing. So the pressure for housing is on a lot of people's shoulders and this could be a potential space for social housing. When I say social, I mean for local people at very affordable rents. So that's the key issue and yeah, use it or lose it. Okay, so basically my opinion on the park is I think they need to invest some more into it. I've been playing it since I was this little and nothing really ain't changed apart from they've taken things out. So I think the fact that it's an antisocial space at the minute is just because they're not investing any money or anything into it. It's a space where they could do community garden, growing stuff, teaching the kids how to do things, have some equipment, whether that's gym equipment or play equipment, but they need to upgrade it. If they upgraded it, people would use it and it wouldn't be such an area where people didn't want to come to because hopefully the, the crackheads and things like that wouldn't be here. That's another thing really the police and the council need to address that they are not addressing. If there wasn't antisocial behaviour here, a lot more children would use it and then it would be a useful space. 